Are you a migrant, either a student or working, and you just saved some money, maybe sending fifty thousand or one lakh rupees to India? You felt good, now, I know, but I'm gonna break your bubble right now because it's not that good, and especially if you're someone want to live a financial freedom life, there's certain things you have to do, and certain things you can do from being a student, working, to achieving a really free life so you can send unlimited money back home or whoever you want. Namaskar, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aditya Soma. I'm a real estate investor and real estate agent uh, located in Windsor, Ontario and I run a Win City real estate team who we help people to invest in real estate to achieve financial freedom. I'm also an immigrant. I came to Canada as a student and you know, just like many immigrants, I went through the process and I really wish what I'm going to talk in this video, I knew when I was a student because you can prepare yourself financially for a much better positioning. So stay tuned. If you have to make notes, make notes. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't hesitate to ask anything because you know, no question is a dumb question. So the step number one, and this no matter where you are, even as a student or you know, you're working, you need to do this, which is, how much money are you making? Question yourself. How much money are you making right now? If you're making $1,000, can you build skills that can help you to make $2,000 or help you to make $3,000? Or if you don't know what skills you have, or if you don't know what you're good at, can you go on to the, you know, lot of platforms out there available like Udemy, LinkedIn, Coursera, go on to those platforms, check on those. Because, you know, right now there is a lot of skills that you can learn if you have no clue maybe start with the trending ones the ones that have high demand right now like you know social media related you know every company nowadays need a video person who can edit or need a person who can do some ads social media ads or need a person who has seo knowledge you know different content writer you can find courses that can teach you how to do that work so that's the step number one learn skills that can make you more money i have seen a lot of people waste their energy in just you know going after things that doesn't even matter Fun coupon. Yeah. but if you spend your time on learning the skills at this stage it's going to give you much better financial heads up later on and much more freedom and step two what are you doing with the money you're making when I was a student, first eight months, I didn't even work anywhere. I thought I didn't know any skills, so I never built anything. I was just partying in the weekend, going to college from morning to evening, watching movies. The key is, once you figured out that, now you're making money. And once I started making money, I was doing like, you know, hard jobs. I was working for 16 hours and I was saving like every month, $1,500, $1,000. But every penny I was saving, I'm sending it to India because I thought first thing I have to clear off is my debts. And not only the debts, I was also sending some money for my sister, for my dad, some pleasures because, you know, I'm in Canada. I can afford that. That's how I felt. But was a terrible mistake because, you know, number one, I didn't know actually where my money is going because I was just making, I'm sending money after spending Question yourself. Start questioning in every spending you're doing. Do you really need to spend on this one? For example, you know, if you want to buy a watch, you can buy $20 watch, you can buy $200 watch. Do you want to spend on $200 or $20? Is that actually even necessary? You know, and I also have seen people, you know, go buy a car. I didn't had a car for first five years. At least, you know, this one thing I did a good thing. I didn't without knowingly. Because, you know, if you buy a car, $500 to $1,000 just for the car expense, gone. Unless if you're using the car to make money, that's a different story. And also if you really need car to your workplace, do you really need a luxury one? Can you just buy $3,000, $4,000 all cash, buy something, a basic one? Question your buying things. Because when you start questioning on everything that you're spending, now you will save up more money. Because this area is so crucial and especially we are in this Western world, everything is credit card. You don't even know how much you're spending. You go into a shop, just tap. Amazon, tap. Gone. You, do, you don't know how much you're spending. If you don't know, 
then you know if you really want to achieve that financial freedom if you really want to live a free life in this country make sure you know every penny where your money is how much money you're getting how much money you're spending which areas you're spending in which areas do you really need to spend question that so now you will start to see more money and step three start investing your time and money in educating yourself if you're making two thousand dollars can you learn any other additional you know tools or softwares or you know any other extra certificates to bring the two thousand dollars to five thousand dollars can you bring five thousand income to ten thousand dollars by learning some other extra skills that's number one and number two you need to learn how to invest that money and you have two platforms about stocks and real estate because stocks you can start with any as low as if you have five hundred dollars instead of sending it for pleasure spending on something you invest on some solid stocks learn about stocks we don't go just jump in and blindly bet because your friend said you because your papa said or your grandpa said you know if they have a good knowledge and they said and you research and you do it that's fantastic but don't just blindly bet because investing the right way which is by educating yourself if you do that you can achieve financial freedom that's how i have done it if you want to learn more about stocks there is my favorite guy on youtube it's called canadian in t-shirt i'll put the link in the description and um, if you want to learn more about real estate of course my channel i talk a lot and also one my favorite website biggerpockets.com they have podcasts they have a lot of useful information there they're very us based but you will still find a lot of concepts very applicable in canada and the last step obviously now you have to take actions you have to invest in assets that can make you passive income right so the first step that i took was house hacking i'm here to show you how i'm getting paid for living in my own house so buying a house especially in canada in canada the real estate is a very powerful vehicle because we can leverage from someone else money and use very little of our money to buy an asset that can actually help us to save more money but also make a solid returns let me explain you in a little bit more detail so my first house this is like 5 6 years ago i bought it for you know let's say 500000 i thought oh my god 2 crores 2 and a half crores where do i bring that much money i don't want to buy it that's why i started to send money back home because i didn't know but in canada it's it doesn't work like that in canada you don't need all 500000 dollars that means you don't need all 2 2.5 crores and also if you're educating yourself about real estate you also will understand you don't have to buy any random property you just need to buy the right one that can help you with your goal of financial freedom which means you have to continue to save your money you should your cost of living should not go up which is that's why i called house hacking i bought this property in windsor that has two units so i lived in the smallest unit one bedroom unit and i rented out the other unit so when i rented out this property it was paying for most of my mortgage expenses so that means i'm first of all i'm taking a mortgage which is for 95% of the property value so my i only spent on that property for 500000 25000 so if you're a student by the time you get your first job by the time you get your pr can you save $25000 can you save $30000 if you would not have spent unnecessarily if you would not have spent sent money where not needed you could save right and if you would have invested in little you know good stocks you would have that money by the time you have your peer right so if you do that and if you buy house hacking now your cost of living still staying same but you have an asset you continue to save more money buy another one because in canada leverage option which is the bank willing to give you money especially if your finances are always in check if you're always saving more money if you're always making decent income they are willing to give more loans and that's how by having good amount of assets that can make money while you're sleeping will help you to achieve financial freedom and that's how i have done it and i know there is lot more details to it but again you know in one video it's hard to cover 
I have actually talked a lot more, you know, deeper in this topic, house hacking topic in other videos. So I'll put the links, check out those. And also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, you know, and again, if you love this video, make sure to share it to all our friends because, you know, as a new immigrant, I really wish I knew this information. That's why I'm sharing. With that, hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next video.